our first important theorem of the section. We have that if matrix A is an M by N matrix, then the null of matrix A is a subspace of Rn. So we need to go ahead and prove this. So to get us started, let's let A be some M by N matrix. And then we can keep to ourselves here, or keep in mind, that by definition, we know that the null of matrix A is defined by the set of all vectors x, such that vector x is in Rn, and matrix A times vector x is equal to the zero vector. So this is going to be important as we show the three properties of a subspace hold true in this situation. So our first one that we need to show, for the null of A to be a subspace, we need to show that the zero vector is in the null space. So we want to show that the zero vector is in the null of matrix A. So we can let the zero vector be in Rn. So since matrix A times vector x equals a zero vector has only the trivial solution, And we know from def or by definition that matrix A times the zero vector is equal to the zero vector, which is in the null of A. So there we go. Our first case is good. We have shown that the zero vector lives in the null of matrix A. The next thing that we need to do is show that the null of matrix A is closed under addition. And so let's start by recalling what exactly it is we need to show here. So we want to show that for all vectors u and vectors v in the null of matrix A, we want to show that vector u plus vector v is also in the null of matrix A. So let's make sure to give ourselves plenty of room here. So I'm going to let vector u and vector v be two arbitrary vectors in the null of matrix A. And then thinking back to that definition, this will be such that matrix A times vector u is equal to the zero vector, which is in the null of matrix A by definition. And the same thing for vector v. Since vector v is in the null of A, then matrix A times vector v equals the zero vector, which we know is in the null of A. So we have our two initial conditions, and we're ready now to take the sum. Okay, so we have matrix A of vector U plus vector V. So by properties of matrices, we can rewrite this using our distributive property, matrix A times vector U plus matrix A times vector V, which we know from our initial conditions is equal to the zero vector plus the zero vector. By properties of vectors, we know that that is the zero vector. So therefore, since matrix A multiplied by the sum of vector u plus the sum of vector, excuse me, since matrix A times the sum of vector u and vector v equals the zero vector, then the sum of vector u and vector v is in the null of A by definition. So this lets us know that the null of matrix A is closed under addition. And so our second property is shown to hold true. And we're one step closer to showing that the null of A is a subspace of Rn. And so last but not least, we have our third and final property. We need to show that the null of A 
is closed under scalar multiplication. So I'm using my shorthand there. Show that the null of A is closed under scalar multiplication. And again, just a friendly reminder here, what exactly we need to show. I'm going to show that for all vector u in the null of A, and for all scalars c, again here we're just thinking about our reals, we want to show that the scalar multiple c times vector u is also in the null of matrix A. So let's use the same u as defined in step two. We're going to let vector u be some arbitrary vector in the null of A, such that matrix A times vector u is equal to the zero vector, which is an element of the null of matrix A. And we'll let c be any scalar. So using these initial conditions, we'll now take the product. So we have matrix A multiplied by the scalar multiple C times vector U. And by properties of matrices, we can pull that scalar C out to the front and just think about the scalar multiple of the matrix product A times vector U, which we know from our initial conditions is going to be equal to C times the zero vector. And by the properties of the or properties of vectors, that's equal to the zero vector. And so therefore. Since matrix A multiplied by the scalar multiple C times vector U is equal to the zero vector, then we can conclude that that scalar multiple C times vector U is in the null of matrix A by definition. And so we have shown that the null of matrix A is closed under scalar multiplication. Hooray. So we have our third property, or we've shown that the third property of subspaces is holding true. And we can conclude or make our final conclusion and say that therefore, if matrix A is an M by N matrix, since all three properties hold true, So since all three properties of subspaces hold true, we can say that the null of A is a subspace of Rn.